Welcome back to Designs by Carrie Ann. Today uh, we're going to talk about um, making use of your skins from after your um, acrylic pores. A lot of people will let the um, dry, dripped paint dry and then peel it off of their work surface and make um, some jewelry out of it. And so that's what we're going to do today. So this was, um, I intentionally created this these drippings, I had some leftover paint, mm -hmm. and I poured it onto um, this wax paper. It's, it's wax paper on one side and paper paper on the back, and let it dry. And it's been drying for mm, probably three days, which it was ready a couple a day or two ago, so you don't really have to wait a full three days. But um, yeah, so this is where we start. I've got it on this, on this wax paper, and I just really want to peel it off so I can start making use of it. So it's kind of tricky sometimes, but find a little space and maybe use your fingernails to start digging under it and to get it started. And um, yeah, just peeling it off as best you can without ripping it. And I've got some cool designs in here that I'm hoping will make some pretty neat um, uh, pendants. That's what, we're, what I'm making today. I'll just rip this off and... Okay, I'm gonna have to cut it off. <laughs> If I was very patient, I could probably rip, uh, rather peel the whole thing off. But I, for demonstration purposes today, I just want a portion of it. So, so yep. Yeah, so that's what we're going to use. Um, the supplies that you'll need are not too many things really. <clears throat> you want some rubbing alcohol, and I happen to use 99% rubbing alcohol. You'll need some scissors. Um, I use this diamond glaze as my glue to adhere the, um, the skin to the cabochon, which is just a glass dome, and then also to adhere to the pendant tray. So the skin will go in between the dome and the pendant tray. And then I like to use a stir stick to sort of put some pressure on um, after I apply the glue. And then you'll want to have some paper towels and a nice, some sort of workspace. Um, and then of course your skin. So those are the uh, supplies that you'll need. So let's get started. The first thing I do is um, set my skin aside and I want to clean up the, um, the glass dome and the pendant tray because you don't know what's on it, I guess, when you uh, receive these things. And also I've been touching it, maybe had some oil or who knows what on my hands. So I'm gonna clean that off really good. I'll set that guy aside and let him dry a little bit. And then the tray, clean that little guy up pretty good. Squeak, squeak. And then I always kind of uh, get some alcohol, rubbing alcohol on my fingers too, so just to make sure that I don't have any oils on my fingers. So um, I kind of do that in between my steps. So here we've got our skin. And I start with the glass dome. And before I put any glue anywhere, I kind of, oh, this has something on it. Okay, watch for that. This has some, I don't know what's on there. Let's try another one and <laughs> clean that up and use that. So I ordered these, uh, the cabochons and the pendant trays um, on Amazon. And um, they come in one uh, set. You get the, the glass domes and the trays all together. Um, I also ordered my diamond glaze on Amazon, and for what it's worth, I ordered the rubbing alcohol on Amazon as well. So yeah, Amazon is my friend. Okay, let's see if this guy looks good. Yeah, okay, so yes, yeah, so before I apply any glue to anything, I just kind of move my um, cabochon around on the skin to see if I can find some design underneath that I think will look pretty neat. And I've been wanting to make some red, so some red jewelry. So let's, I'm gonna pick this area right here. So I'm gonna leave my stick there so I don't forget where I, what I decided upon. And I guess a little tip that I've found, um, sometimes the glue, like any glue, can get sort of dried in the um, tube in which it comes out. So I stick a, just a little pin in there when I'm not using it. So I'm turning my cabochon upside down and I'm just going to apply glue to this side. I like to put a little dollop in the middle, maybe about the size of a pea, and then I use the applicator and 
end to kind of swish it around so it gets pretty good coverage on the cabochon. And then I just simply bring it over to where I decided I wanted it, get it in place, and this is where I like to use um, my stir stick to sort of apply some pressure to the cabochon onto the skin so that it can adhere and give it just a couple of seconds to sort of dry. It doesn't dry completely, just to stick. So yeah, so that's step one, and um, I'll let this sit for probably 30 to 40 minutes before I go on to my next step. So I'm going to pause you for a minute, and we will be right back. All right, so we're back, and um, this cabochon on top of the skin has sat for about a half an hour, um, and I've, I re-cleaned re, uh, this little tray just because I had been handling it, and I want to make sure that any oils are out of there so that the glue adheres well. And again, <laughs> clean my hands too. Keep those hands clean. So first off, we want to get this guy off of this skin. So I'm simply going to use a pair of scissors and cut it out. Nothing too tricky about this. Just do the best you can. I've noticed that I have better luck if my skins are a little thicker rather than too thin because if they are too thin, they just tear. <clears throat> so if you have uh, some thicker areas of drippings, save those guys. Yep, just going around here. Make sure you have a nice sharp pair of scissors. That seems to help too. So there's that, and you can flip it over and you can see, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the other side of the skin, which by the way, sometimes you can find, if you flip over your skin, either side, you can find some, some cool patterns on both sides, so check that out. So now all we're going to do is stick this little guy in the tray, and again I'm going to use um, this diamond glaze glue in my nice clean tray. I like to put I drop in the middle, again, about the size of a pea. And then I use this application section to sort of spread it around, get in along the edges and stuff, because I want to make sure this thing stays together well. And then I always try to pay attention to which direction, because the pendant will hang this way. So I want the um, design to be a certain certain way. It'll hang the right way. What do you think? Sideways? It kind of looks like a cat eye. Let's go up. Let's go vertical. And you do have a little bit of give time once you stick it in there to move it around if you change your mind before it starts to adhere. And again, I just am going to use my stir stick to sort of put some pressure on that. Make sure it's in there good and tight. And I'll follow up with uh, letting this sit for about 30 minutes and then come back in with my rubbing alcohol and clean it up. I can see that there's a little bit of glue that pushed out of the edges from underneath the cabochon. So I want to clean that up now before it dries because it's more difficult to get the glue off once it's dried. You can, but it, it is a lot. Uh, you need a lot of elbow grease in order to get that off. So if you see it, well, it's still wet. I would, I would address it at that point. So yeah, that is that. There you go. What do you think? I think I like it. And I've got plenty of skin here left to make some more. Um, and hopefully somebody will like this little guy. I think I do. Okay, guys, I'm signing off, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know what you think of, uh, of this piece, or if you have some really cool ones you want to share. Send me a link and I'll check it out too. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like my videos and I'll see you next time. Take care.